What's going on guys? I finally decided what class I'm going to play in Bless Online and in the process of deciding which class I was going to play, I did a lot of research on all the classes and what they had to offer. In this video, I'm going to be going over the research that I found about these classes so I can maybe help you make a better decision on which class you want to play. Now, of course, you have to keep in mind that a lot of this information is going to be uh, something you have to take with a grain of salt because Bless Online's combat system has gotten revamped and a lot of this information is taken from the text files of the revamp rather than playing the revamp myself. I have not played Bless as of making this video. No one has played the revamp as of me making this video. A lot of things have changed on these classes from what they used to be. So a lot of the information in this video may or may not be relevant later on once we just, once we get into the game and figure out what the classes are going to be like. But I do think that this guide is going to be general enough for anyone to make an assumption on what they like and it's going to be focusing more on playstyle rather than the specifics of what each class can do. Another thing I have to say is that quite a lot like Black Desert, a lot of MMOs are starting to shift away from the Holy Trinity where there's a tank healer and DPS. It's still here in Bless, but it's not as relevant. A lot of people, uh, are, a lot of classes are able to do DPS. A lot of classes are able to tank, uh, not so much heal, but you can switch your role depending on your gears, what I'm trying to say, basically just a little bit, not as much as Black Desert, obviously. So keep in mind that there is some flexibility there in everything that I'm saying. Thing, so don't be discouraged if the class I put into a certain area is not to your liking. So that's all the stuff I got to get out of the way for the start of this video. Now let's get into it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to let you know about the types of classes that Bless Online has to offer. Okay, so there is melee, which is the type of attack you're going to be doing. You're going to be up close and personal attacking the enemies at a close range most of the time. There's range, so you're going to be far away attacking the enemies as from as far as you possibly can, as far as your uh, attacks will allow you to, to be as safe as possible. And characters that are ranged usually have less defense than the characters that are melee naturally. There's also a second category here, and that's going to be either single target or AOE damage. Obviously, single target is going to focus more on attacking one enemy and AOE damage is going to be focused on attacking multiple enemies. With that out of the way, we're now going to place each of the five classes into each of these categories and subcategories. So let's start out with Guardian. Guardian is a very well balanced class. It's the cl class that I've decided to go with. It is a melee attacker as well as a single target attacker that focuses mainly on keeping a, tar a target in a combo and chained and stuck in the same position because they are the main tank of the game and therefore they are expected to be the one to tank bosses and things like that. They also can dish out a fair amount of DPS from what I understand especially with the rebuild because it allows for certain combos that were unavailable to the previous version of Bless Online. So if you're looking for a well balanced experience and the ability to be able to to fight pretty much anyone and anything at a decent rate, Guardian might be for you. Okay, next class is gonna be Berserker. Berserker is going to be a melee DPS with an AOE subcategory. With the AOE subcategory, it gives you a very good idea of what Berserker is gonna do. You're gonna be very good at killing a lot of mobs at once, especially in dungeons. So that's what Berserker's main focus is gonna be when it comes to PvE. And when it comes to PvP, Zerkers are gonna do a lot of AOE damage in big amounts. The problem though is that Zerkers are gonna be expected to be in the front lines because they are melee and not ranged. And without much defense, of capabilities as a guardian you're going to need to be uh, building a lot tankier than uh, most classes if you want to dish out a lot of dps to players if you're going to be going in balls deep but that is what makes berserker a very good class is because they're able to go in balls deep and dish out a lot of damage to a lot of people all at once if you're looking for a class that can handle itself and probably do some very good grinding uh, i'm definitely going to recommend berserker to you the next class we're going to look at is going to be Ranger. Ranger is going to be a ranged DPS as well as a single target subcategory. So Rangers are very good at focusing on one target but doing a lot of damage. If I had to guess, I would say that Ranger is going to be the highest DPS class in the game just because of logic and common sense, right? They're ranged so they don't have as much defensive capabilities as most other classes so that automatically gives them a disadvantage there so they have to be counterbalanced by having a higher 
attack as well as they are single targets so they don't get to attack multiple uh, monsters or players at once so it makes sense for them to dish out the most damage this is just my assumption though Rangers are going to be good for players who want to dish out a, a very large amount of damage from a safe distance. However, you're also going to have to keep in mind that because you don't have as many cap defensive capabilities, it's going to be a lot harder for you to stand a challenge against other players in 1v1s, especially those with good defensive capabilities. So you're definitely going to want to be in a group if you're playing with a Ranger. Uh, that does, As a Ranger, it doesn't mean that you have to be. Obviously, if you know what you're doing, you may not need one. But I think if you're in a group, if you have someone who can peel for you, Ranger is going to be very, very strong and the same goes for the mage class mage is going to be almost the same as ranger except instead of having a single target damage it's going to be more focused on aoe targeting damage but uh, the mage just like the ranger has very low defensive capabilities in comparison to other classes so you're definitely going to want to have someone appeal for you if you're going to be playing a mage to help you with those situations when you're fighting a class with a lot of defensive capabilities and cc that can pin you down and the final class is going to be the Paladin. Now, I would argue that the Paladin is going to be the single most important class when it comes to PvE and PvP content in Bless Online. And why is that? Because they are the only healer in Bless Online at the moment. There is another healer, but it isn't going to be out on the release of Early Access. So that's going to put Paladins at a very important spot. They're going to be highly wanted in guilds and in um, PvE just because they are the healers and the buffers and all type of stuff like that. The support class. Everyone needs a good support class, right? But it's no fun just playing a support class you also want to do some dps every now and again right well paladin is good for that too paladin is going to be a melee dps as well as single target so there's not as much aoe but uh, single target damage will be pretty decent from what i understand paladin is going to be able to dish out a very decent amount of damage especially uh considering the of the revamp just like guardian the revamp is going to allow paladin to do more damage than they were able to do previously because of the way the combo system is set up so if you're looking for a class that does decent dps but also very large support capabilities and it's going to be very highly requested for most other guilds and things like that you definitely definitely want to play the paladin when it comes down to it bless is a pvp game and that's one thing i love about it it is a pvp game it's greatly incentivized for people to attack you and kill you actually they get very good items for killing you so people are going to be wanting to farm you all day and um, you're going to want to be able to defend yourself when these situations occur when it comes to playing solo there are three classes that are going to do pretty good and i would say those would be guardian paladin and berserker this is just because these three have naturally more defensive capability than the other classes if you're going to be playing solo you might want to pick up one of these three so you're going to be able so you'll be able to defend yourself against oncoming attackers especially when you get around level 30 and 40 and things like that and you're grinding but if you're going to be playing with a group and you don't mind uh, relying on some people to help peel for you then you might want to check out mage ranger or paladin paladin doesn't really need to be peeled for but definitely is going to be good and grouped for the things i mentioned earlier but when it comes to ranger and mage they definitely are going to need some peeling to be done for them to help them when it comes to situations that where they're in a uh, environment where they are getting swarmed by someone who has a lot of cc that can uh, offshoot their combos and things like that so that's my guide to help you guys pick which class is best for you. Like I said in the beginning of the video, make sure you take this with a grain of salt. A lot of this information is going to be changing and all type of stuff like that once we get into the early access version of the game. But I tried to keep this as general as possible so as to not lead anyone astray. Be sure to do some of your own research on these classes to supplement what I've told you. And I hope to see you guys on May 28th. Anyway, make sure you follow me on Twitch, LOL Hero Twitch, link in the description. It's your boy Hero. See you guys next time. Peace.